Um, today we're delighted to have as the first part of a multi-part series with uh, uh, Clarissa Han Hanashiro. Uh, did I get that right? Clarissa Hanashiro of um, the former president of the of FNR. Um, I'm Clarissa Hanashiro, and I'm the former president of the Free Nations region. I have been here as a president for a year, and I have oversaw the transition into a frontier region, plus a bastion region of the Free Nations region, and I'm happy to share with you my experience in nation states. Yes. Um. Um. Before Before we start, um, for those of um for those TMP listeners. Um, not familiar with F F and R and um your affiliates, you know F and uh, uh F and F um, um and and the others uh would like to spend some time to go through what F and R is, what 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 you guys do over there. I mean, we have a we have a formal embassy relationship, so we are officially allies in in NS. Uh, but um, I think some some of our listeners would like to have a have a quick uh, have a, have an introduction to that. Uh, yep, certainly. Uh, I can give you an introduction to Free, Free Nations region. In short, Free Nations region is a user greater region, and we are one of the defender allies of the TMP, and we love to be an ally of them, and we probably will continue the relationship into the future. To, to elaborate, we have a lot of Things that we do in FNR, like role play, like defending, like we do some sort of legislature, and we do a lot of just general chit chatting all the day. <laughs> yep. Um. Um. So, uh, as we were as we were chatting about before we started this interview, um, you were you have been a uh, how long have you been with FNR with uh, with 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 For me, I have been in nation states for about five years, and I've been a member of FNR okay, for um, like yeah, three so, so years you, at you this point. Just, you just um, became, you were president for what, for a year, right? Um, um, for, yep, I have been president for a year and I started my term in last year's April, sorry, we're and then up a little bit. Um, we have a decline. Um, um, sorry. Um, sorry, sorry, Chris. I think you're breaking up a little bit about a minute ago. So I think from from um, the sorry. point of when and you were talking talk about um, after you were um uh, uh uh in NS for about in in FNR for about three years. I think you're breaking up a little bit. <laughs> Ah, okay. Uh, yeah, I've been in Atlanta for three years, and I've been in NS for about five years at this point. For my time in Atlanta, I've been president for the last year from okay, yeah. Um, so 2023 did you enjoy your time as the best, uh, president of um of um FNR? Absolutely. I would serve FNR for another time if they ever have a need of me again. And in general, although that term is, is like tiring, there is a lot of stuff to be done. Like I have to draft bills in order to make FNR into the FNR it is of today with a frontier. And apart from bills, we have to also cultivate player interactions like we have to revise the role play and we have to do a lot more activities than we've done before. Let's say about 50, 50 to 60 approximately. <laughs> and certainly quite some people and we do sometimes have oh, some I've never arguments been in, about in, that. Uh... Like the UCR, it's generally so, um, a happy so, place um, to be. I understand that, um, 
Mm, can you give us a bit of an intro into the what the uh, some of the uh, um uh, I think RP is a very major part of your uh, role play is a very major part, very major part of your role there, and you're still role play moderator. Um, can you give us a a, a, a quick overview for you of some of the role plays that you're doing over there in FNR? Certainly, in FNR, we have a big role scene, and I've been the role moderator at there for like two years to this point, and I'm still an active role moderator over there. We do a nation role play with the help of some of our photographers, and we make a map, and then we role play as our nations on that map. Like, you can be a nation you want, pass policy you want, and then have interactions with other nations and participate in the international scene inside the force. Additionally, I think that they're recently doing a something like spy thing, like people to go after other countries in spy actions that can influence other nations in ways they want to and i have been i have commented on that okay, system that's for very interesting. Like, Here, tell it us is more recently about that. like may or june give or take yeah the as for as as Espionage system was a system created by our current role play delegate, and then he said that I think he said that he want other players to be able to soft like do this stuff because in past situations of FNRP, it is like you have to have consent before you do this kind of stuff because consent is a huge thing in FNRP, but some of the players didn't like this stance that we have been taking on. Therefore, they said that under some circumstance, you can influence others by espionage. Like, you can have some missions, you can do some soft stuff, but other more, more story-focused missions still apply by oh. consents, and I you see, cannot, I see. like, just um, show off another place president other, with no consent. Um, you know, major like role plays that, um, uh, you know, that you, that you folks at um, FNR have done that you were proud of, or, you know, that you really liked? I mean, did you give us a bit of a flavor into those? Into those? Yeah, I think we did some sort of side RP in past. In the past, like we have created like antiquity worlds, and and we have a sort of like one at one or two months temporary world thing where people cause people role played as tribes in the ancient world, hunting for survival, and then like random events like their attacks could before them and which may cause them to be okay, damaged well, that's, that's, that's or might have some other effects um, to have, their have you guys done their any, budding civilization. Uh, you know, role play with other regions. I mean TMT doesn't have a very large role play group. I mean it has a decent size run and it's mostly uh, medieval role play. But have you guys crossed over, you know, with other regions? Um, or individually? I think that the team has considered that in the past and is discussing with some other regions that also are role-play heavy, but I don't think there are any specifics that we know of yet. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Yeah, because I, I think the, the role-play um, um, in different regions, of course, is, you know, uh, the Transberg has their own uh, greater and GD has their own yeah. and uh, TMP also has their own. So um, 
um, the 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 role, the different aspects of role play sometimes don't really um, mix well. Um, anyway, um, yeah. I, I see that. Um, so in terms of F and R, F, um, I mean F and R, F and F and F, F and R. Um, so um, um, F and R is the just just to clarify a little bit. F and R is the over overarching um, name for or for, for all of the F and all, for F your, is. <laughs> all three, right? Because you have F and F, you have. F and yep. you have Equaterra and yep. you have Hive, or is that how R that works, is or is that like a monument to our past? And then Hive is our new, new frontier, and the and the Equaterra is our base of operations, so that this to say, and then the overarching name of this free is FNF Free Nations Federation. Okay, so so this is so so um F N F uh Free Nations Federation is the overarching name for F N R F uh Equaterra and Hive and um uh so it's in, together that 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 forms um uh uh the whole um uh F N R F N F N yeah, I sorry, I keep referring to F and R, but yeah, I your your this yeah, is okay. is Free Nations Federation. <laughs> sorry, sorry, I keep I, I keep referring to that as F and R as the overarching name. Yeah, I think it, yeah. Um I I probably got a bit um um confused to myself. Um the the Free Nations, but I'm just reading through the history there, but the Free Nations region was the birthplace of the Free Nations Federation, right? So F and R came first and then it became F and F, which uh, encompassed uh, can you repeat um, Equaterra the question? Because, and like, Hive, is that right? My Wi-Fi dropped and, we, <laughs> and there is a part where you said that you are you said that you you miss you still F and F for F and F well then but the, but the 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 FN, um yeah no I I I think your from what I understand the history was yeah. that FNR was founded in 2016 and then came FNF in after the Frontier Strongholds update in in yeah, 2023 yeah, yeah. in July 2023 to, to be exact so it became FNR or it was FNR originally and then. Came uh, F and F, including F and R, Equaterra, and Hive. That's right. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's 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 yeah. That 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 clarifies a bit. Yeah. So that's how's right. the how's the development of um Equaterra and Hive? I mean, are you seeing much activity yeah, we have been in the, using in the a frontier? Lot of For example, in in Hive, Hive in your frontier, and we have seen quite some results in Hive with. The Ministry of Internal Affairs people and doing some sort of welcoming to them and cultivating the culture over in Hive. This is a it is hard work, but it is a job. Okay. Um. We are going to um break into a second episode. Um. Um. So uh, in episode two, we will continue our discussions with. Uh, Clarissa uh, Hanashiro. Um, if you are listening to us on our YouTube channel, don't forget to subscribe to the TNP MBS on YouTube or on YouTube, um, or also follow us on Spotify. And if you're not currently a citizen of TNP, please go to our website at forum. Of the North Pacific org and apply for citizenship. And also, of course, that if you have multiple nations, don't forget to affiliate your World Assembly nation with TNP because as the biggest region in TNP, uh, your voice matters. Um, we are, of course, eighteen percent of the votes in um in the GA uh, in um in the uh in the. A regular voting population, including our allies. So we do have a strong voice, and your votes in TMP matters, or your votes in the in the GA and in the SC. 
Um, so um, thank you very much. Um, uh, Clarissa will be uh, breaking now for the second episode. Bye. Do we have to like stop the recording now and put and